Hello and welcome back to another Easy Odds Premier League video cast. We've yep. got some lovely midweek action going on here. Double uh, week in fantasy, so that's yeah. the main main. Who's the so. captain this week? Um, it was um, De Bruyne, but I changed it to Aguero in the last second. Oh, well, well played. So, um, I went with Giroud, who didn't play. So, oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's why you're bottom of the table. That's why you're bottom of the table. That's why I'm bottom of the table. So moving on, we had a poll. What a game last night? Let's quickly talk about how good that was. Oh, that was a great game. Yeah, Spurs looking every inch champions. Um, Leicester City were coming for you with the chant from the fans. Uh, but, yeah, um, I think they are. Um, they really are. Looking at the fixture list as well, I would argue that Leicester have got the harder mm, fixtures left. Um, what a finish from uh, um, Kane as well. Kane, Ali. Basically, we're going to win the Euros. So. Oh, definitely. Give us, give us the award. Give us the bloody trophy now. <laughs> okay, let's get get on with the midweek action. First match is Newcastle City, and I know you've got a bit of a mental one here, Ross. Yeah, I just generally believe that uh, Newcastle have got a, a little bit of a chance here in the double chance market, um, which, which means, of course, that, that you'll get your money for either a, a draw or or a Newcastle win. I think six to four is a pretty decent price from a Newcastle team that are so dependent on on their home form mm. at, at St James's Park, a, away from home. They're just absolutely diabolical. Um, they, and they have been for around two years now. They just can't seem to pick up wins away from home. Whereas, whereas at, at St James's, even with the pressure cooker of the fans that that, that they have have up there, um, they seem to bring out some pretty decent performances. And I think that they can stop a Man City team that are in decent form, but I've got eyes on on other things at the moment. Um, I, I think that, that that they can stop them from um, winning this game. They of course won against a Swansea side that had just beaten Chelsea one nil three nil on the weekend, which is a, a, a very good result. Um, Andros Townsend, Mitrovic, all looking um, very good, including um, captain Sizoko finally showing his French form. Um, probably a little bit too late in the season, but they but they need to um, show some fight in this game. They've got the, the likes of Mitrovic that will certainly show it, mm-hmm. um, and will Man City be able to hold up to the game under the? The likes. I'm not entirely sure they can. Um, of course, they're massive favourites to, to to win the game, but I just feel that Newcastle need to win this game, and um, it's kind of do or die. Yeah. And they got the un, the un, un, underdog attitude, which the fans enjoy there up mm-hmm. against the Man City side. So I think that this could could just well, just well be a game where they may, maybe scrape a draw, um, and six to four is a decent price there on um, them on the double chance market. I feel. Yeah, pretty really good. Odds against on double chance is always quite nice, especially this this best, but. Yeah, I don't here's, know. Here's hoping for an early red card in, um, for a Man City player. Yeah, <laughs> but not Aguero. <laughs> but, but not Definitely Aguero. not Aguero. Actually, he's done all right for me already. Three, he's already netted me three goals. I'm happy with that. He can go. He can not start even. Like, <laughs> still be good. Um, next up, we got West Ham versus Watford. I mean, Watford having a brilliant start to the season. Really, really went downhill. Yeah. Um, obviously, West Ham. Andy got Andy Carroll back firing. Scored another penalty. Got him on my team as well. Yeah. England. England. <laughs> Headers. He's also such a good header in the Euros. Yeah. West Ham are a very difficult team to beat at the moment. Um, they're not necessarily picking up enough wins for my liking in terms of getting um, quite a bit of profit out of them. Um, and they're a short price there at 12 to 19, but I think that they're a decent price to beat a Watford team that have just got all eyes on the um, FA Cup semi-final on the weekend. I can see them resting quite a few players for this game. Mm. Um, it's kind of one of those awkward midweek games where managers think, "Oh, I can play the second string here." Um, whereas West Ham obviously um, were knocked out of the FA Cup last week by by Man United, so they've only got the Premier League to, con- to concentrate on here. Yeah. They haven't won for a while, so they need to get back to, to winning ways, and that's a pretty perfect way to, to to get it playing at home against this Watford side at the moment, especially one that could well be uh, resting quite a few players. Mm-hmm. So twelve to nineteen is a pretty short price, but I just think that it's the Go to bet here. Uh, yeah. Home win, West Ham to, to beat Whitford. Yeah, Watford have nothing to play for anymore, do they really? No, apart really from the FA Cup. But I mean, yeah, in the, in the Premier League. Which I mean. is exactly why I think they'll rest a few players. So, yeah, uh, 12 to, to 19 just, just, just seems yeah. a fair price. What they're on the way? About 42 points. I yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so they've definitely avoided relegation anyway. Um, next up, we've got Manchester United against Crystal Palace, who somehow managed to scrape a draw against Arsenal in the most yeah. crazy circumstances ever. Man United are playing quite a bit better recently. They've got Rashford firing England. Yep. England! I get that every time. We have an, an yep. England striker, which is probably every game, pretty much. I think it is every game. Oh, no, Arsenal. No, carry on. Ricky Lambert, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so yet, yet again, I'm going to um, have to look forward to next weekend and say Palace have got 
bigger fish to, to, to fry than a midweek Premier League game at Old Trafford. I can see them um, pl- playing quite a few second stream players in this game again. Yeah. Man United also have an um, Epic Cup game to, to think about, but the uh, fans won't allow them to just kind of ha- have a throwaway um, home game. So I think Louis Van Gaal will play a pretty strong team. I'm almost certain that Rooney will start. Um, okay. He did so against uh, Aston Villa. Looks okay. Um, and the more match fitness that he gets, the better for us as, as England fans um, mm-hmm. heading in, in, into the Euros. So I think that um, they look pretty decent price here to, to win at 4-7. to seven. Um, Crystal Palace have a poor record at, at Old Trafford. Uh, Man United have won four of the last five matches um, with the games coming thick and fast. I fancy them to beat a Palace side who, who are actually in decent form themselves. They're actually... Um, Unbeaten in in, in in the last four games, I think that's okay. no no surprise with the fact that Balassi is back. Mm-hmm. Um, he's probably the most potent force um, going forward. But will he start this game? I'm not totally sure with the um, match against Watford mm. in the FA Cup semi. So I think uh, Man United win probably one nil. No, them no nil half time. Nil nil half time is the bet. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Man United to win yet again. Um, Pretty short odds, but um, stick that in an accumulator with, with West Ham. And my next choice, which is the uh, the, the Liverpool derby. Um, yeah. Huge game, live on Sky t- 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 tomorrow evening. And yet again, I think um, Liverpool are going to uh, win here. I think that Klopp's got them playing really well. Mm-hmm. Um, not just the first team either. Um, as I was saying, with uh, second string players playing, sometimes it doesn't work out. But he played a pretty second string team at uh, um, Bournemouth on the weekend. And they looked every, every inch as good as the... the uh, First string, so yeah. fair play to Klopp. He's he's really um, galvanised that club, um, which I'm pleased about because I just love Jurgen Klopp. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think everyone does. Not many <laughs> yeah. people don't like Jurgen Klopp. It's a huge derby, of course, up against Everton. Um, Liverpool fans will be really keen to get one over on their old rivals. Um, they haven't um, beaten them for a while um, at Anfield after the um, last gasp. He, um, Yagelka goal um, yeah. last season, which was an absolute screamer. I remember, I remember uh, yeah, Yagelka loves a good screamer, doesn't he? Yeah, Screams left footed half volley from this area from Yagelka. <laughs> Who knew? Um, but I think that they'll put that right um, on Wednesday night. Best best price ten to thirteen, which was a pretty decent price, I think. Um, mm-hmm. Everton have got injury worries over Lukaku and Barkley, probably their two best players. Yeah, um, take those out at the team, and you're struggling to find goals in that team, really. Um, so. T- and the Toffees have won just one of the, of the last seven games, so that shows how in poor form they are. Um, but they've got the FA Cup to look forward to also in on the weekend, and, and Roberto Martinez has proved in the past that, that he can win that competition with the mighty Wigan. Um, but I think that, Liv- that Liverpool will march on with um, their fourth win in a row, which will be really good for them heading into their uh, Europa League ties. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be, it'd be unbelievable if they win the Europa League. Yeah, well, they're favourites now, aren't they? Yeah, um, they're, they're, they're short favourites as well. With the really bookmakers, short. yeah. Um, yeah, Martin is, in a, bit, is a bit, in a bit of trouble, isn't he? Yeah, it seems like um, the British public are blaming him for the poor form of John Stones as well, so um, <laughs> he could get um, stoned by the public. Oh, oh here we go. Pun. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> OK, <laughs> let's wrap this up. Arsenal v West Brom, last game. <laughs> Yeah, Arsenal to win to nil was my tip um, last weekend against Palace. Very uh, unlucky. After they'd only let in 10 goals at home all season, they they had about three shots against them and they managed to concede. Thanks mm-hmm. a lot, Arsenal. Um, but they're up against a, a, a worse side than Crystal Palace here mm-hmm. in, in West Brom. Tony Pulis will absolutely love this game um, because he, it, it gives him a chance to set up a defensive team up against one of the best attacking teams in the Premier League. Yep. Um, so he'll absolutely love this. Um, I don't think that he'll be aiming to score many goals. He'll just be aiming to keep them out. But I think Arsenal will eventually break them down. Um, now that the season's pretty much over, isn't it? Um, mm-hmm. This is kind of a, a nothing game, really. But I think that um, they need to prove to Wenger and also t- to the fans that the, that they have a future at the club. Um, yeah. A lot of those players. So hopefully for Arsenal fans, they'll roll their uh, sleeves up and get stuck in. Um, West Brom have scored just two goals in the last five games, so I, I can't see them scoring here. Uh, whereas Arsenal have just let in 11 Premier League games, uh, goals at home all season. So I think you can squeeze a little bit more profit out of an Arsenal win by going Arsenal to win to nil, which is best price 19 to 20. Um, so that's my f- five tips for the Premier League. Yep. Jake, I've got Newcastle draw, double chance, West Ham to win, Man United to win, Liverpool to win. 
and Arsenal to win to nil. Some pretty uh, basic uh, tips in the Premier League, but the big one, of course, is Ashton Gate. The only one that matters. Uh, me as a Bristol City fan, Jake as a Derby fan. Um, the big one is happening this evening, and we've both got a tip. Um, do you want to go with yours first? Well, Jake? well, this isn't just a tip. This is a certainty. <laughs> Here this we is go. A certainty. <laughs> the Scottish wizard, as I call him. Yeah. Johnny Russell. He's been in brilliant form. He plays in patches sometimes, he's good, sometimes he's bad. Yeah, he he's always tries hard. Patch at the moment, isn't he's he? in a good patch, he scored three in two games, three and three games to me. We're absolutely firing on all skin cylinders. We scored nine goals in three the last three games. Yeah. We're just gonna win. And what were the last three <laughs> what were the last three results? What for between us? Oh, two nil, three nil, four nil. Yeah. So that's so, five nil. So, so yeah. that means we're gonna win five nil. Johnny Russell's gonna <laughs> score four. But anyway, Johnny Russell to score any time is nine to four, which that's is a brilliant price. Even if he doesn't start, yeah. I think he will stop. If he does that, he'll come on and score anyway. Yep, um as you mentioned, Derby are in a great run of form. Um there is a slight caveat to that where um last weekend Sheffield Wednesday arrived at Ashton Gate with four with four wins on the bounce and we smashed in a four one. Um, so who knows what happened but you have to say that Derby should be favourites here they smashed us 4-0 in the reverse fixture um, however Bristol City have been scoring goals at home for absolute fun they scored 11 goals in the last three home games so I think that Bristol City might um, score well I think they will score um, but I don't think that will win the game I think Derby will win the game but I think that both teams will yeah, score that's fighting so talk. my tip here is um, Derby to win but both teams to score at 7-2 to a slightly bigger price than uh, Johnny Russell to score any time um, so those are my tips. Uh, best of luck, Jake, and what, and we'll see you in the next season. Come on, Derby. No, 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 no. We'll see you maybe in the cup if you luckily get us and you get a lovely trip to Pride Park. I mean the iPro. So. I look forward to it. All right, well, thanks for watching. This has been the Premier League Tips with me, Ross Casey, and Derby fan, Jake Johns.